So this today the, the main topic of the broadcast teaching is to unification of three space. So this is a, the principle of these teachings basically coming from uh, Dzogchen teachings, uh, uh, particularly these, this notion of unification of three space, unification of three lights uh, coming from a cycle of teaching of Shang Jun Yinji. And uh, so I wanted to uh, share some uh, teachings from that place and some experiences from that place. And uh, so now if we all look at in our life, maybe this moment, uh, beginning of this year, uh, it's a good place to start our uh, reflection in our life, how to uh, start this new year. Uh, how to be the best possible, uh, how to deal with the things what we might face, and how to enhance the poten possibilities and all the opportunities that we might have. So, so I think uh, this practice will help for all of us in some sense of beginning this new year. Now, in generally, in of, if I, we look at in our life, uh, uh, with, if you look at the aspect of our samsara, deep inside there is a ignorance. From there coming out like the attachment, the anger, jealousy, and pride. Of course, these are the main reasons that all the, all the discomfort that we experience in our life, uh, all the pain that we experience in our life, they are for sure they are caused by these negative emotions. They are known as a poisons. And the deep inside, they are causing by a root ignorance. And the notion of ignorance has so much to do with lack of awareness, basically lack of knowing oneself, uh, lack of self-realization. And so when there is this sense of lack of self-realization, there is a root ignorance, and from there, everything else is manifesting from there. So the notion of the three unification of three space, a space is the absence of that ignorance. So that ig there are many layers of that ignorance, a deep place in ourself, when that ignorance is not there, we recognize ourself. In a situation outside, when that ignorance is not there, we rec recognize and we see the more truth of the situation. In our vision that we experience, whatever vision that one experiences, either it's a pure one, impure one, painful one, joyful one, posp, uh, how you say, hope, or with the hopelessness, whatever vision that we are experiencing, of course, if there is a more sense of uh, clarity, there is a less ignorance there. If there is a more sense of uh, uh, pain, confusion, then there is a more ignorance in that, that presence there. So that is the kind of overall our experience. Now, if we look at some specific experiences, uh, such as uh, subject, object, and its experiences, if you look at a person that you have difficult with, so uh, externally you have a person that you have difficult with. Uh, internally you have another person that you have difficult with. And between this internal person, which is your ego, the external person, so you are the support of that ego. And in between two of you, there is a whole link, a connection story, a tension, uh, that these tensions are basically in some sense of like channels. Either, either these channels are completely open, there is so much space, there is so much flow of energy, there is so much of light, so much kindness, uh, so much warmth, so much clear communication, so much exchange, so much giving and sharing. Either channels are open, you have all those, or these channels are blocked. That means uh, you retrieve yourself, you reject the other person, 
That means you create some stories, in, even when there is no stories to create. That means you are uh, uh, creating uh, some sense of uh, aggressive communications through that block channels. So as a result of these uh, wrong relationships, we create a lot of pain in ourselves and others, and particularly sometimes, unfortunately, we create pain to people we love or people we respect or people we don't want to create pain. And these, these are uh, constantly happens in our life. So I wanted to, uh, all of you, uh, just try to reflect a little bit in your life and just maybe see some of these elements, what I, I just said. And if you look at it closely, this example of the outer person and inner person. So if you look at first, inside yourself, there is an ego. To be conscious of that ego. So that not ego uh, completely dominates your whole entire existence, your happiness, your hope. You have all the possibilities in your life. It does not take up all these qualities. Just simply just recognize there is an ego who is having, facing challenge in outer situation, who is facing the outer person as a story. So if you look at that closely, first is look inside. Close your eye. You simply draw your attention inward. You look at that ego. The one who is challenged, the one who is facing difficulty, the one who is feeling pain, the one who is feeling confused. Simply look inward. And just trying to notice that. If you look inward, simply notice that it's already begin to feel some movement, and you already begin to feel some shifting energies. You already begin to feel some kind of new, fresh energies are coming in. Some old energies are moving out. And you continuously draw attention, open attention to that place. And if you look closer and closer, like ego is shy, like ego runs away, what you find there and in the end you just find just a space, space which is not different from the one who is observing it. It's not from different from the one who is experiencing it. It's just the same place, same experience. You just feel a space. When you experience that space, what happened? What happened? is that subject, the ego, who was occupying that inner sacred space, has just simply dissolved. 